Hello friends, welcome to another unboxing assembly video. Today I am uh, working on this uh, Hyundai uh, bamboo filing cabinet. So I have all the pieces here. It's nice uh, bamboo solid here. It's pretty nice. I like the color. So we're just gonna assemble this real quick. It comes with these little um, bags here for our files and whatnot that you can store in here. So that's pretty sweet. That. This has got uh, these nice little pads here. We'll put these in there in the bottom, get them all solid there. There we go. Get these all set up for, for when we put them in here. I like how there's different sizes. You got these little um, parts on the front there so you can add tags to it. Keep everything really organized. I like that. All right. And then we have one more box right here. You can just add this right there. Okay, there we go. All right, well, let's get started. First step, we're gonna take A. Now we just gotta find out which one A is. Okay, there's C right here is C. And here is F. So we got F and C. Now we got B. So B, C, F, this is D, I'll put it right there, another D, put it right there, okay, E, E, C, E, F, I'm just going to put these alphabetically like that, and of course the last one's got to be A. So it says, here we go. We're gonna set up A. And A and B, just like this, A and B. All right, let's move this out of the way a little bit. And we're gonna get A and B right here and here. And then it says to take the two Ds and put those in between them. I'm gonna take off those stickers real quick. Okay. All right, this is a D. I'll take this little sticker off if I can. It's probably the hardest part of the installation is just removing these little stickers. They're really sticky. If, they're, if they won't come off all the way, I use like a soapy, uh, washcloth or something and that'll help get all the stickiness off of there okay here we have the other one there's two now this is gonna be a and I'm just gonna assemble it just like it says in the instructions I try to keep it the same orientation so it's just like this in here um, looks like the screws are coming from the outside and they're going to be going from here into these so i'm going to remove this last sticker if i can find it there it is okay there we are that one came off pretty easy and this is going to be the outside here as well i believe let's get going the big X is going to be here on the bottom or the square. So we have all of these. This is nice and simple. All the same screws. And we're just going to set this up just like this. Why don't we put the screws through the holes first? Maybe that'll make it easier. I don't know yet, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. And now these are going to go like what? These are D's. And they're gonna go like, 
All right, I'm assuming just like this. So we want, we want this, these parts, we want that supported here. So those are gonna go into here. And I'm actually gonna use my power tool here, but I'm just gonna be super, super careful. So just to get them most of the way in and then I'll hand tighten them because I don't want to damage this bamboo. And if you use a power tool, you gotta to be really careful. So I'm just gonna do it to get it most of the way in and then uh, the rest of the way, I'm just gonna use my uh, screw. So this is just for, or I'll use my uh, Allen key. All right. So once again, being very careful not to over tighten this. Okay, once again, it has the slats up on top and those are gonna be supported underneath right here. So you want this to be the top portion. So this, as you put the things on the shelf, they're gonna go with that downwards. Okay, so let's get these other ones in. Get this one first. All right, and then we'll go for this one right here. Okay, that's super easy. I'm gonna get this one on and then I'll tighten it down once I have that in place. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's get this one going here. And once again, be really careful not to over tighten. You don't want to use this. It could strip the, the bamboo and we don't want that to happen. So. There we are. If you're not comfortable with the power tool, then you might not want to use it. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm just going to use Okay, why is that different? That is A and B, okay. I was just wondering, this one has little legs on it, so that's why it's like a little bit different. I was like, why is it slanted? But that's fine. Now I'm just gonna take this and tighten it up. And then I can feel, okay. When it's snug with this um, hand tightening, and then you can feel, where is it snug and is it not gonna get too tight there, okay. There we are, these go in there pretty far. So um, I'm just going, um, just kind of going by feel as to how far I think, how tight this should be. You don't want, I mean, you're obviously not screwing into metal here, so you don't want to be super tight with this, but just kind of, Make sure your your wood is like flush on there and it butts up right next to the other piece there. That's kind of what you're looking for. Okay, and then just kind of go by feel. That's our first step right there. We have that constructed. That's pretty solid actually. Step two is we're gonna take E and we're gonna attach our screws to that. Okay, so here is another one I'm gonna need, F I believe. Now here's E, nice solid piece of bamboo here. I'm just gonna take the sticker off real quick 
and this is going to get attached right on here like this it looks like the first screw I can get on there pretty good all right I might have a little bit of a angle issue here maybe but we'll see Okay, that wasn't too bad. And then that bottom part, that's kind of a tough angle right there. We'll see if I can get it going at least. Okay, so I can hand start it and then kind of get my uh, thing in there hopefully. Okay, there's that. That was easy. And now we're going to take C, which was this one here. C is going to go there. Okay, so C goes on here. I'm going to take the C off of there real quick. Off you come, little C. I don't need you anymore. All right. Now we're going to attach this on there, and those are just going to go right like this. Super easy. Okay. And we'll get our other screw right here. Get that one going real quick. Not too bad. This, so far, everything, this bamboo is rather strong. I think bamboo is fairly resilient and a tough product, really. Okay, so I don't know if I want to tighten this down yet because it's not really... Well, level, I guess. Let's see what we can do here. Try to keep that level and just snug that down right there. Okay. There we are. Now we can get this one going here. Just kind of tighten it down. Not too tight, just get that feel nice and firm but not once again not like super tight that's just kind of the main thing working with this wood and like the holes are they're pretty uh the places it's it's screwed into are pretty thin you know so oh come on i can't find it there we are One more turn here. So this is probably, I think bamboo is quite a bit harder than, um, than regular uh, wood. All right, so that's, what am I looking at here? Step four, use six, one, two, attach after the bottom. Okay, so we're going to turn this over. So I don't think you have to be as careful with this as you would with um, regular screws. I'm only seeing two holes here. Okay, so that's going to go here. Oh, wow, this is nicely, actually really sturdily built. This is going to be um, pretty solid. So you got your two solid shelves. This one's gonna go right over here. So bamboo's relatively strong. Um, it's a strong material. So I'm feeling pretty good about I feel pretty good about snugging this down um, pretty 
pretty decently. It should be a uh, super strong actually it's a lot better than like press board so all right where's the hole here should be a hole right about there I just need to bring it up a little bit press board you gotta kind of be a little bit more careful because it can be fairly delicate actually but not so much with this. This seems actually quite stout. And I'm liking the look of it too. All right, we got one more screw here on this bottom portion. All right, now I'm gonna just take my, uh, take my Allen key. Just tighten that down. Oh yeah, I'm getting the feeling that this is actually, I can really put these on here pretty tight and I'm not feeling like it's going to strip it or anything. Sometimes you can feel like a uh, Like if you tighten down uh, other ones that aren't bamboo, like press board or something, you can hear it start tearing when you start screwing these down. I'm not really getting the, uh, I'm not really getting that feeling with this bamboo that it's gonna like break easily. This is, seems uh, quite stout. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that is not even, it's not usually you hear like a ripping sound or something like that. I'm not hearing any of that with this. So I'm gonna skip ahead a step since I have it right here and put these in there. So these are just going to screw in. Hang on a second. Okay. These just screw in. And you can adjust this if you need to. That's kind of nice. I like that it's got wheels on there, locking wheels so you can roll these around. And these you can adjust as well if your floor is a little bit off if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this up all the way. So this is like the advantages of bamboo is that it's a super lightweight wood and yet it's rather strong as well. So I'm not getting, this one has my confidence in that it's gonna be, you know, pretty durable. Some uh, furniture I assemble you could tell definitely tell the difference between like like real wood and like press board or whatever. Most stuff's made out of press board. So I think this is the first like like bamboo one I've actually worked with and I'm liking it. This has a like a strong feeling and not only I'd be willing to I would be willing to um, assert that it's about probably half the weight as press board and probably twice as strong. This feels really solid, so. Okay, let me screw this one in here. Okay, and we got one more here. Just screw that one down. Was oh, it even letting me? Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, come on. It didn't give me a wrench for this. I don't think it's really necessary. This just pretty much goes right in there. This is pretty easy to do here. And 
like I said, it's got the little locks on the wheels here. So lock that way or that way. Okay, that is that. And now we're just gonna attach this to our uh, board there. So we're gonna get this over here. And I'm not sure if there's a front or anything. Got a nice solid uh, bamboo there for the top. And then this is gonna go on there. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason. We're just gonna kind of line up our holes. Oh yeah, so it's, it can only go one way. And of course I had it the wrong way. So here we go, we just line up our holes there. And I'm gonna try to get it so I can drop them in each way and before I start screwing and that, them in that way I can know that they're in place there. So what you can do is you can lift up one end and find your holes and make sure those are in your holes. Okay, so I'm in my holes over here. I'm just gonna hand tighten these a little bit. That way I know I'm in over there. And now for over here, same thing. Okay, those are already in. So I lifted up over there. I just lifted it up a little bit so the screws were poking through. I lined them up with the holes and then I was good to go. So that's what I'm gonna do here is now just screw these in. Okay, I'm gonna say it, I like, it seems like they really thought of stuff when they did this one. Sometimes you have these screws and they'd be like right next to the wood so you wouldn't be able to use your Allen key very easily to tighten it down. I'm liking this. This is not in the way. It, this one, everything about this seems to be rather well done. And I'm not, uh, not unimpressed here. This is pretty sweet. Okay, tighten that one down. And then we just have these two more right over here. So we'll tighten these down. Once again, not trying to do anything crazy with the tightness, but this seems actually super solid. So this whole thing doesn't weigh a lot. Probably Take my little locks off my wheels there. I would say this probably weighs Okay, it's rolling around pretty good there. Seems seems fairly solid. Make sure all my uh, things are all done. I could just tighten them up a little bit if I feel like I need to. Okay, and we can just go around and just kind of just test them, make sure we're all snug on these. Okay, it's feeling solid because sometimes it just like loosens up a little bit maybe when you're, uh... okay, that's good. All right, that's snug. Oops. And just kind of going over each one just to make sure that we are nice and solid and gonna be strong. Okay, that's feeling, I'm pretty confident about that. That one's solid. That one's good. No shaking really, this is, there we go, that's solid. Okay, I think, I think we're pretty good here, guys. Um, a couple of these ones here. Oh yeah. All right, that's not like rickety or anything. This is like pretty strong. Okay. So now we just put in our uh, baskets and each one 
fits in its own little spot here. We have two that are uh, this size. And then we got the big guy down here. And I think, yeah, it gave us these uh, plastic ones here for this one. So if you wanna put your uh, uh, filing cabinet in here, you can. So that's kind of cool. So these just go right over the top. And this is if you want to, it's gonna keep this a little bit more firm. So we got two longer ones and two shorter ones. And these are, you can hang those, uh, those file things on there. I'll show you guys what I mean. Oh, come on, cooperate with me here. There we go, all right. That's just gonna add to that. All right, you just gotta spread it out a little bit and then you can push it on there. I just didn't wanna, these are a little bit, can be a little sharp, so I don't wanna stare, tear the fabric there. So just kinda spread out one end, get it on there, and then you can push it down. All right, so that's nice. So you can just grab the handles here and pull these in or out. That's cool. It moves around nicely. And I think we are about done. I can just uh, demonstrate that. It's got a nice look to it. This feels, it says it can hold 122 pounds up top. And I don't doubt this. It says these shelves are rated for 20 pounds. I guarantee these will hold more than 20 pounds, but you don't want to exceed what it has because it just it is a little thin piece here and just that screw going in there. But this doesn't seem like weak or anything. This seems like I can put a printer up here or anything else and it's going to fit uh, real fine there. I'm liking, it just looks like a nice little uh, filing cabinet. So I'm going to set it up here and show you guys what I th think it should look like. Okay, so I have it here in my uh, office here. Um, I could put all kinds of stuff in here if you wanted to, just like, you could. Uh, this is very versatile though. I think it would actually fit right by our, um, our couch also, and it's a good height. It would be a nice little um, side table actually, where it has some room. You could put blankets in here if you wanted, uh, books, you could have your remotes in here. Um, all kinds of stuff. Put your coffees up here. It's bamboo. It's pretty resilient. Um, if you want it for your office here, you got all kinds. You can put your files in here. And then, like I said, this has this. You can just put your regular filing cabinet um, folders right here, and that's going to hold all that. So that's super nice. Then you have all this space over here on top of that. Um, it's a good size. I think it's about a foot here between these. So you could put down... Um, almost like a little shredder there you could put like a little waste basket there's all kinds of possibilities here um, like i said if it's a little bit off i think my i have a concrete floor here that you can just adjust the wheel you can just screw that out and it's going to be nice and steady um, yeah and the top here it's a nice solid uh, base you could put a printer up here a fax machine copier whatever um, this is going to hold your all your stuff decently. This is really strong. I'm confident that it's going to be able to hold quite a bit. So it's not going to. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to like fragile or anything. I didn't hear any wood like splitting or anything when I was screwing those in and tightening it up. So I think it's a pretty nice um, filing cabinet here. Um, yeah. So. Thanks for watching this review and assembly, my friends. I hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time.